Okay, that noise is the metronome. It's set at 52. <clears throat> I'm going to try and show you as much as I can and look at the pages, which are not easy to look at, actually. But here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four.
So you can hear the slowdown in the end where it doesn't match up with the metronome, but that should be cool. You should be able to tell a couple of spots where I was fighting the metronome a little bit. Let me turn that off. You should be able to tell um, a couple of moments there where I'm fighting it a little bit. Uh, it's just because it's, it feels funny at that tempo, but it's okay. I think, it, I think it'll be good for you to practice with. Hopefully that metronome is not too maddening, um, but it should give you an idea of, of really what's going on. Uh, I think I missed a bass note somewhere in there too, um, but that should do it. I'll, I'll get you one that's a little bit faster sometime later, but um, for right now, let's keep it on the slow tempo. That's at 52. If that doesn't feel right, I can change it for you, but I, th I think that'll be okay. I think I matched that up with what your triplets were this week, so... Um, yeah, notice when I really get into the triplets and it's feeling good, the, the first triplet I think was not as locked in as some of the other ones, but you can, you can hear that transition from eighth note to triplets and, and get it in your head a little bit about how that should sound, um, because it does seem a little unnatural at first, but, uh, I think that should do it. If you have any questions, let me know.